Um, hello everyone. Um, so in this video we are going to continue with our compilation on Kando. Um, this is actually part two of the previous video and this is where we stopped uh, with compiling games and we saw this message that the linking of games to binary was successful. And now we are actually going to run some games calculations. So let's ls and see what's going on in our games directory. So here you can see our executable. And um, now we will figure out what we need to do to successfully run games. And obviously there are a lot of documents here that you can read. Uh, especially the README um, on what exactly you need to do. But I will show you here how I run my calculations. So we are going to be running using the run GMS script, which is right here. So, oops. So let me just open the run GMS script and see what's going on a little bit. So we will go down here. In the very first um, page, you will see some of these environment variables that we are setting. And what we will have to do is change some of them. Um, so specifically, I am just going to copy all of these four down below here. And I'm going to comment these out. And we will be changing them. So if you remember, we compiled our games with MPI. So I'm going to say target equals MPI because we are running with MPI and not sockets. Uh, the next environment variable here, not really environment variable, but the games variable um, is the SCR, which is referring to your scratch. And right now it's not defined anywhere so we are going to define a path for it and let me exit it for now so where i am going to define my scratch directory is in my home directory so if you type pwd um, you should be able to see where you are located so i am in home and this is my last name so here i'm going to create a directory called scratch um, and so let me put that here. Oh, gosh. So I will write the full path home Alcon scratch. Okay. So this is my scratch directory that I used. And the next one that it asks for is user SCR, uh, which I will also just ask it to be the same SCR as the one that I just created. The next variable that it's asking for is the GMS path and I will type a full path for it as well. And the full path for me is home Alcan and the name of the games folder, which is games for me. Okay, so let me save these. So these are the run GMS variables in the very beginning. Now I will try to run some of the things. And I know there's going to be errors, so we will try to run together. Inside the games folder, you will see um, there are some tests. So I'm going to take a couple of standard tests. Like, let's do example 1 and example 2. Uh, which I copied them right here. And now I'm going to try to run some things, but first I just want to put an alias in my bash rc pointing to the games that is specifically in this folder. So if I open my bash rc, you can see I already have a few games aliases here, so I'm just going to create another one. Um, and then I'll call it gms3. Um, <laughs> And where it's going to be is home Alcon games. And because we are going to be executing the run GMS script, I'm going to say dot slash run GMS close. And I'm going to 
close it and I'm gonna type source bash rc again. I should probably get rid of the annoying bell but I will do that later. Okay so now I can just say gms3 and now it's gonna recognize it uh, and essentially going to pull the run gms script here and let's try to execute exam01 and it says that there's no such file or directory why is that so and that is because I put it incorrectly and I'm supposed to have a slash over here so okay I am going to source the bash bash RC again um, so let's do GMS 3 exam 01 okay excellent so at least it started running something right so and then we can see that there's some expression syntax correct because I did not specify anything else so let's look inside the run GMS a bit more let's go here so this job is running and what we have to pay attention to is right here so it's asking you a few things and maybe it's not very easy to see from the color of my stuff but the first thing that you are providing is the input file which in our case is the exam01.imp the second thing that we have to specify is the version of games executable which is 00, zero and then number of CPUs so let me do that which I, I haven't done okay GMS3 exam01 zero, 00 and then let's do one CPU and it's giving me uh, this error again so let's just keep going down and then I'm gonna start printing some things um, along the way just to figure out where we are at so we just point we just pointed the version and the number of CPUs um, so I'm just gonna keep going down the run GMS script and you can see that it's actually sourcing the GMS files that seashell so let's keep going down um, and there's a lot of stuff here okay so now we reached if target sockets great so let me just put one printing here let me say before executing games and then let's search for MPI because we will have to look at if target is MPI so we're gonna keep going down okay right here so I'm gonna put another one here before before MPI okay great so here it is likely um, because it's asking that we need to set um, the PPN number which is the processors per node which we haven't as our fourth argument so let me do that so I'm gonna type GMS3 exam01 now I have to type 00 for the version 1 for the CPUs and let's type 2 for the processors per node and it's running which is excellent so now we figured out how to run our calculation and it obviously printed all of the stuff here so we can see that our games terminated normally uh, if we want to put it in a different log file we just have to do this let's do example one log and that is going to hopefully save everything um, okay it didn't because <laughs> now it's asking us to remove everything from our scratch directory okay so that means something that we have to do is before each run we have to clear our scratch directory which we are not going to be doing always we will just type that command into a 
uh, script. So now I'm just going to remove everything in this crash directory and let me submit the job again. And there it is. Cool. So it finished and we can see we have the CPU timing information for all processes. So we were using two processes per node. And let's let us now use let's say two CPUs instead of one. So I'm gonna say two CPUs and of course it's gonna give an error because I didn't clear my scratch directory, which I'm gonna do now. So let's run this again. And there it is. So now you can see that we again were able to run our calculation without any problems and you can see that we were running it using four CPUs here. So depending on your system's availability, you can run these calculations in parallel. All right, um, now that we finished um, running some calculations, now I would like to um, try to prepare a script to submit these jobs. Um, but the first thing that I would like to do is to go back to the run GMS script and um, remember over here um, we specified our SCR and user SCR um, and we needed to delete um, some of the extra files every time. So I just wanted to go right here and add a couple of lines. Uh, which would prevent you from having to delete things manually all the time. Essentially, what we want to do is to just specify that if there is a job already with the same um, input, or output or information from the previous um, stuff that we just delete all these files from our uh, scratch directory and if and I'm gonna save that and let me go back and source my bash RC one more time and I got rid of the annoying bell ring, as you can hear. Um, so let me just run again GMS3. Um, let's go with exam 02, 0012. And I was able to run. Okay, great. And now I'm going to run it one more time and hopefully this will not give any errors. And it looks like it worked, so it ran again. Great. <clears throat> now let's try to prepare a script that we will be able to use to submit. So I'm just going to call it submit.sh. And actually, Iowa State University already provides these nice little scripts um, for submission. Um, so I'm just going to use one of them over here, um, especially because my thing is not very visible because it's dark blue and I don't really change it. Um, okay, so essentially here... Uh, you need to specify how long your run is going to be, how many nodes you're going to use, and how many tasks per node. So uh, on this particular cluster, we have 16 uh, cores per node, um, but I'm not going to use that much right now because we just want to submit for testing, so I'm just going to change it to 2. Um, and the next stuff that we're going to do is to put our input. So for example exam 10.imp and the next step that we have to do uh, is to put our um, 
home path to the G run GMS script and then I'm gonna say input and the syntax to execute run GMS is still the same so I have to use the version number and actually the next two things are exactly these nodes and the end tasks per node so i'm gonna say one two here um, so that's a bit annoying you'll have to make sure they are matching um, before you submit this so really the only thing that this script allows you to do is to submit it into the queue so i'm gonna say s batch submit and i got the the job number so now in order to check my job I can do this and I have no jobs and maybe that is why that is because it ran hopefully and it did it ran so here it is that was our job um, but if my job was a bit longer um, then you would be able to see it, to see it in the queue over here. Um, and essentially that's what I wanted to show with this tutorial. Um, but there's one more thing that I want to do and that is really quickly um, change our uh, games to be able to run it with OpenMP uh, threaded version. Uh, and what I'm going to do is make clean again. Um, and just do the make um, DDI and make module steps again just so we are compiling it with OpenMP um, and then I'm going to submit an open a calculation with OpenMP Okay, so now it compiled uh, successfully and now I am just going to um, add one line over here, not even a line, um, and that is specify the OMP num threads environment variable. Let's do four and I will say submit. So let's check this very quickly and it's running um, and it finished running. Okay, great. So the main difference between um, the threaded runs uh, and the regular ones is that at the end you are going to see this message that this is a threaded run and um, on top of your log file if you are using OpenMP enabled, you should be able to see this message that um, indeed, um, you know, you are running with OpenMP. And because I specified the number of threads to be four, uh, it says four over here. Hence, it's using a bit of a different code. Yes, thank you, Flux. Um, and that is basically it. Um, the only other thing I want to mention is that if you don't specify how many threads to use, I think it's going to use a fixed number, which is, I don't remember, I think it was 7 or 8. Let me not specify this. And let me run this one more time. And hence we will find out. Um, great, so let me go OMP exam one. Okay, and let me open MP 16. Okay, um, so if you don't specify, then it's going to run with 16 threads. So that's it. Thank you for watching the video.